So tell me where we're at. Uh, we're at airspace. All right, what is this next to us? So this is our tarantula drone. It's a drone that chases other drones. If you think about what we're building here, we're building this robotic organism that is aware of what's going on around it and is chasing something, right? So, you know, we, we think about it as, a, as almost like a dragonfly or, or, or a cheetah. And uh, to produce that uh, is, is something that uh, is quite extraordinary. So it's got some really interesting gear on board. It's got a tracking system, so it's got optics. There's a camera here that actually goes to a big brain, an NVIDIA core with hundreds of processors. You fit that on here. That's right, it's right inside. It's right inside the drone itself. And so that computer actually takes all the optics and decides where the drone is once we've selected uh, the drone on target on our phones. And it chases that drone down. It avoids clutter, it avoids trees, wires. And as it chases it down, then what happens is these lasers at the bottom, the LiDAR at the bottom, are constantly doing proximity. And when it gets to that target, it actually, it actually will deploy Kevlar. And it actually hangs onto the drone. It's really important because you don't know if the drone that you're hitting is armed or not. Then it disposes it. It flies the drone to a target, like a, a box or something like that, so you can dispose of it. Uh, it's not really software. You know, this is, this is uh, uh, really using really novel techniques to boil down Turns of information, turns of video data into just enough video data to, to focus on and then do really interesting and proprietary compute. Some of it is deep learning other, uh, with other uh, 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 techniques to basically predict where is the target and where are the obstacles in the world. And then based on that uh, world uh, uh, map or representation, together with your goal, to produce uh, uh, the control that is needed to do the fly. So does this stop at drones for you guys, or, or do you have future products on the development cycle? You know, I think what we're doing right now is just we want to get this system as reliable as possible and working as fast as possible. Then this platform can be used in other, other things. We think that if you think about it, um, you know, a firefighting drone, a drone that would, you know, drop medicine, uh, all, the, all those things, the apex application we think is chasing another drone, getting another moving target. Once you get that right and you can do that well, everything else is a lot easier, I think. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you.